Hello guys and welcome back to Ian Explains, YouTube channel I need, so no explanation. So today I wanted to talk about something kind of cool, that, that, that at least I, that I thought so it was kind of cool. So I was recently at my grandmother's house, um, poking around in a, dress, in a desk for a pen so I could write something down, and I found a weird looking box of pencils. It said, and it said Blaisdell 616T paper pencil, and I took a look at it. And I found a bunch of pencils that looked like this. As you can see, it says 616T Blaisdell. It's patent number 1,758,953. One and I thought, huh, this is a cool looking pencil. And by looking at the box and the pencil, I found it was, this is a pencil that instead of like a normal pencil where you have this wood and you sharpen it, with like a razor or a pencil sharpener or a knife, something like that, it's paper wrapped. And so what you do is when you the lead wears down, you take this piece of string and you pull it back to the hole and then you peel away the paper and you have new lead exposed. And so yeah, I thought that was kind of cool and I did a little research, but I had trouble. See, so you see, I, whenever I looked it up, I couldn't find anything. I found Blaisdell pencils, just not the ones I was looking for. And when I looked at Blaisdell, all I found was stuff on the founder of the Zippo company. So that wasn't very helpful. But a little bit of research found an article about a bunch of things, Blaisdell 616T pencils, I believe it said, being found in a house. And it said they dated back to the 1930s. A little more research revealed a patent from 19, that was they put it in in 1927 and it was issued in 1930 for a paper pencil to Blaisdell. So it turns out uh, it's a box of pencils from the 1930s. And that was, I found that pretty cool. Actually, I don't know if it's from the 1930s. It, I'm not sure how long they made it since there's barely any material. And um, also I don't think the Blaisdell company exists because I, I couldn't find it. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about the pencil, what I like and dislike about it. So my first like about it is it's a cool looking pencil, you know, it has this nice silver text on it, which doesn't seem to rub off, which is nice. Sometimes on pencils, text will rub off. It has the nice the pencil, the paper look to it. Um, it has this nice green color. It has a nice feel in my hand. It's actually, it's kind of large compared to kind of a modern pencil. You can kind of see. And it's pretty thick. Um, it writes pretty nicely. So yeah, and actually you can see the lead is really thick. And that's one of the things I don't like about the pencil is in terms of, come on, focus. It, um, you can't have it like really sharp simply because of the way it's made. It's, it's a paper pencil. You peel stuff back to get it to work. So yeah, and so that was kind of annoying. So, which is actually why I used it for the last time I did a, a speed paint, the uh, papyrus speed paint with, um, boy, that one. And I used it for that because I think it's nice for just kind of sketching stuff out simply because it's such a big lead, it's not nice for writing. So let's compare this to a more modern pencil. So let's. And yes, I do realize my cursive is terrible. But as, yeah, I should work on it. So yeah, as you can see, it writes a much thinner line, which is um, which is nice if you're writing for like school when you're using just a normal pencil. Also, this one doesn't have an eraser, which makes sense since it's paper wrapped all the way down. You couldn't really have an eraser on it. But yeah, so I just wanted to talk about that, talk about my thoughts on it. Um. I'm not sure you can still buy this pencil. I was only able to find it since I was rooting around in a desk for a pen. 
But yeah. So yeah, that's all for now, and I'll see you guys next time.